Ladies and gentlemen, this is Order 66. We discussed a couple days previously about shaking up Sandy Shaw's production and distribution rate of marijuana. As we know, Dre is no longer affiliated and a part of their program, but they are still number one spot on the tablet. If everyone gets their tablet out and has a look on the Group 6, not the Group 6 app, we don't do Group 6, on the HQ app, and goes to Turfs, you will see Sandy Shaw's 100% as it has been for about three fucking months. We're at 23, which is quite good now. But for anyone that doesn't know, everyone that you see on that list, their progress is based off of the number one spot that is Sandy Shores, which means everything you do is compared to them. So if you slow them down, everyone else accelerates. This is when Order 66 comes into play. Now, Order 66 is, uh, is, is the plan to slow them down. Now, we'll, we'll start from the top and we'll work our way down. You have the company. Everyone's familiar with the company, right? Yeah. Okay. The company, you got OTT, Benji, Ray, Mickey, probably a couple others at this point. They had the whole intern program. I would assume that they've got people there. Their turf, where they get people to push for them, is Sandy Shores. Top spot. Currently uncontested. No one's giving them any problems. They just go there. They push fucking thousands and thousands of baggies a day. They don't know what hard work looks like. They just stand there, pass bags to locals. No interference. Reggie, according to Dre, is their number one grower. That's the main man. Then you got Fred and Dow, who's the two side growers. Basically the side pieces because they can't quite keep up with the workload. Then you got KJ. KJ is the man on the ground and he is distribution. Anyone that gets weed for Sandy goes through KJ and that is the supply chain. We don't give a fuck about Dow. We don't give a fuck about KJ. We don't give a fuck about Fred. We don't give a fuck about Reggie. And we most definitely don't give a fuck about the company. We give a fuck about the roots of the operation, aka the runners. There's three different groups of runners, supposedly which is uh, a couple of old Rust members have been spotted down there. A couple of old Seaside members have been spotted down there. And a couple of old BSK members have been spotted down there. I know what you're thinking. What a great bunch. But it's okay because it's not just going to be us getting involved in the thick of it down there. Over the past week, I've reached out to a couple of groups and we have a surprisingly good interest rate. And we will be joined by ourselves, Hydra, Saints, and uh, Open to Expansion. All three of those groups will be executing Order 66 and trying to slow down Sandy Shores. This means it will be daily attacks. Frequency is up for debate. Obviously, you know, we'll rotate between the groups. But the more frequent that this takes place, the slower they're going to slow down. And ultimately, it ain't about what we're taking off them. It's about striking fear into them and making sure that they don't feel safe and they change up the way they're selling. Ultimately, slowing them down. Now, we're going to start this very soon. I found out today that Dre's waiting on a $60,000 payment from KJ. So we're going to pause Order 66 until he has that money. Because that would be slightly unfortunate if he gets cut off. But as soon as that is up and he's got that money, it's goal time. Now, we ain't going to rep when we do it. I don't think any group is going to be repping. It's going to be a low-key thing. Different outfits, you know, we're going to blend in with the sand. I think motorbikes could be a good approach, you know, have a couple of people on motorbikes, have a couple of people in cars, you know, unidentifiable, can't trace it back to us, three different groups, everyone's a target. Now, there's probably going to be some people down there that, you know, you might have a loose connection to, you might fuck with, you might think, oh, I used to know this guy five years ago, fuck him, order 66, everyone gets it. If they're running and they're selling weed, they get robbed, inconvenience their day, right? If they're oh, oh my god oh Kenny. oh Kenny. Kenny. Ah. Kenny. Ah. Ah. he's just preparing he's, oh. active. he's active he's pumped oh. he's pumped up he's pumped up fucking hell he's fucking hell no all right fair play fair play no i deserve that i deserve that bro i deserve that fucking hell you gotta take their weed Make their pushing an inconvenience. Whatever you think you can do in a robbery to make it a little bit more difficult to push. I don't know. Maybe fucking get their weed and throw it into the bottom of the Alamo Sea so they have to deep sea dive to try and find it. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do. I don't care what the fuck you're going to do. Slow their motherfuckers down. Slow their motherfuckers down as much as we can. This is going to be starting very soon. When I give the green light, it will be Hydra, Saints. I'm potentially going to speak to CG, but I think we keep it as the three groups, see how we get on. And then if we need to bring in more people, we can. Sparky, I don't mean to cut you off, but just a quick 30 second sidebar. I, I, I've just had a light bulb. Come here. Anything you can say to me can be said amongst everybody.
46, order 66 is full disclosure. He's keeping secrets. That's fine. It's not secrets. I just didn't want to say it in front of everybody unless it was a good idea because I don't know no, if I'm on No, speak it. Energy right because now. everything because you say is good, Steve. Believe in yourself. When we, rob, when we rob their fucking weed, we black the fuck out. We go push their weed on other people's turf. Yeah. And then they're yeah. really pissed off a company yeah. because they're selling their strain. Oh, 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 oh. Question for you. Yeah. Question for you. Yeah. How 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 are you how are you gonna go push on someone else? We have stuff? three PCs. We can figure it out. Oh, okay, okay. We can okay. we can figure it out. Okay, maybe maybe we stockpile the weed and then we scheme on the it. turf. We we keep it. That's we keep it. We keep yeah, it. Exactly. Louder for the people in the motherfucking back. Yeah. Yo yo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Max, what the fuck was that? What the oh, fuck man. was that, Max? Do you want me to scream? Do you really want me to scream? So yeah. Really Give me your all, bro. Give me your all, bro. Give it all your shit. i got, bro. They're fucking getting it! Yeah, they're fucking getting it. That's right, they're getting it. We're coming for the top spot. All right, we're coming for the top spot. Terry would wish it could be here. Why is Ricky not wearing shoes? <laughs> he's staying grounded because he's ready. He's going to fill the sand in between his toes when he steps into it's sandy right. turf. That's right. I see the vision, Ricky. Well, before we move on to the more boring shit, anyone got any questions about Order 66? Are we killing the kids in care or not? So, okay. Don't kill the kids you don't kill the mothers. Twist this dick. So Let's how hear it. Are you gonna, okay, Let's so grab it and twist it. And it are we going to deal with blowback? Because there will be blowback. Now, this is the thing, uh, right? Blowback. So, so for example, <laughs> so let's see the example. example. Like, if we, so say they start getting robbed, right? Like, they're gonna obviously, you know, start having straps on them. Cause I definitely know they'll have straps on them if, like, it gets like a bit hairy up there. This, this so is my gonna, thought like, process, right? If we can get them to the point where they're having to carry straps while they're pushing, order sixty six is already fifty percent complete. All right, but like. The whole aim of this, exact. Well, I mean, yeah, that's another benefit right there. The whole aim, right, is to just make it. But like, I know for a fact they got music in their AirPods. They're probably on a roof. They're on a bike. They can go for six hours, and the only thing they got to worry about is cops. If they're having to look over their backs, they're carrying guns. They got to worry about cops responding and catching them with weed and guns. It just complicates their whole process even more than it already was, right? True. And True. We can rub their guns okay. And we can rub their motherfucking True. guns. That's damn straight. Actually, yeah, that worked out. You're not wrong. I take it okay. when you say guns, you're talking these people would be able to get access to civilian guns, right? Uh, a bit of both. Yeah, I'd say civilian and most probably making their own. Okay, who do you, who, who, okay, this is a good question for you, Dre, because you know the, you know the, 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 the people better than anyone here, right? When we're talking about the ground people shotting, who do we need to look out for? Uh, I would say most probably the line that's closest to us all. <laughs> What seaside? So I'd say like the XPSK, some of the well, some of the seaside, most probably the rust. You know, I would say those mainly because those people would most probably be the muscle to protect the runners of doing what they're doing. Because I'll be honest, the runners just like they just run, bro. They just sit up there all day, every day, pushing. So they're not. So the, these three the here aren't the ones that push. They're the ones that watch over, or they it's push, the but they're the muscle. Yeah, they will most probably push and be the muscle too. So yeah, I would say okay, would well, that the most. That's all right, then we can. Well, if we know there's people beneath them who are just runners, there are real targets. Like, if we can just get the unsuspecting innocent runners, because you gotta remember as well, these motherfuckers is getting robbed regularly. They're not gonna want to work for this for these people no more. Where's Matt going? So, we're, we're targeting their Raj. Any, we want their Rajas. We want their juniors. We want their fucking Shazas. Yeah. We, we want well, their, that's what their, their ground troops. All right. Well, yeah. I would say. The XBSK and the Rust and the Seaside, which is like really just one of them, protect the runners, but the runner, but they also push tools. So it's like all of them are practically, you know, once a, once one robbery starts to happen, I reckon they'll start getting straps and then they'll all start like protecting each other. Also keep it in communication with the radios tool. Mm. It might be nice to maybe... Walk around with a load of shit on them at once or not? Good uh, question. They... They walk around with a bit and cops are up there frequently. I'm thinking it might be worth it if we do manage to hit like a little quiet robbery, you know, it's, uh, you know, you get one person. Always check their radio frequency then because if they're on like a universal radio up there and we get that, that's a, that's a big, uh, big oh, help. Yeah. Oh, big time. They're always like on the radio with each other. They're always communicating. If something happens to one, the rest find out. Know it. They ask why we're doing this. What do you say? They're not going to know that we're doing this, Ricky. We don't exist. We're not there. Yes, same. Okay. 
Okay, hear me out. What would happen if we put somebody in on the inside? Ooh. Have somebody like, go in and like basically like make. So what what do they need to do in order to push for that? That's a, that's a question for Drake. You know. Hmm. Um. They're very cautious about who they put on. They're very cautious in. You know. They're very like. Yeah, very, yeah. Like I would say, they their their trust is like zero for anybody mm -hmm. that's not a part of them. Right. And they're very but, cautious. But what if a what if somebody that was like X D S T S C S I Express or whatever vouches for somebody? Then that's fine. Then they'll uh, most probably think about it and watch them. The secret they weapon. Why work? Raj. You know what? That's not even a bad idea. <laughs> could you, that's could you not even a bad me, idea. <laughs> Did you did you say Raj? Potentially He's Raj. You know you know who is the perfect okay. person. You know who actually is the perfect person on a mad one. He has a shit haircut John. and he's from Newcastle. <laughs> is that John? Is it Matt? And he already no, has half yeah, those people on yeah, side that we were talking about. Sure. Think about it, right? John's like, I just need to make a bit of money. He gets on the inside. He feeds us information, Ooh. but we never burn it because then we can keep yeah. him in on it, right? So say we hit a robbery. John's in with them. John then gets the down low. Yo, one of the people got robbed. We're going to start doing this to counter it. And then, boom, all of a sudden, we're one step ahead every time. They never suspect John. He used to be with them, no? He used to be like Seaside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did with me and Terry, yeah. Question is, would John want to show us that loyalty over his old people? That's a question for John. He told me Sorry, yesterday yeah, his... Uh... Against his old boys, yeah. <clears throat> he told me yesterday that his loyalty with Terry is stronger than his loyalty with anyone else, being Ke Benji and KJ. I don't yeah. think he's even really going to have to deal with Benji at all. KJ maybe, but he could be a good inside the, person. I think with our history we have with everybody, it's um yeah, it's definitely a harder situation for other people, you know what I'm saying? Cuz we were like we're boys with these people, but also at the same time like business is business at the end of the day. I think we kind of understand what's going on, and I know John, you know, John understands what business is all about so for this to improve the business of the manner he, uh, you know getting up there i think john would understand that we'll leave it as we'll have a conversation to john see what energy he gives when we pitch that to him but it, this is yeah i mean that that that's a president we need to follow for the whole thing none of this is personal this is all weed business that's all this is yeah the weed business is a volatile industry and a violent one. It just, this was going to happen at some point with somebody. It just required someone to be the first to do it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if us doing this opens the gates to a lot of other groups getting the same idea and starting to fuck with other people's weed business. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Order 66 has a pin in it until Drake has received his. Drake? Until Drake. Dre has received his money. Drake, I, d I, I just love you that much, bro. That I just, your Drake I status that. in my mind. I respect that. I respect Once we spoke that. to John and Dre has his cash. Order 66 commences. Now, please help me scrub this out just in case anyone comes and sees this shit. Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it. 